Well, well, it's time for the winner's finals of the Metaplace Halo Wars 2 Sentinels Pro League with $650 on the line in this event. Rock Generation is gonna be playing as Kinsano. Would have never guessed this, to be honest, but here it is. Very excited for it. Bad news for him, though. <laughs> EOD on the other side in the red color gonna be playing as Forge. That's tough. That's very tough. Kinsano typically is hard countered by Forge. The Forgehog and Vortogs are just very difficult to deal with, but we've seen in the other series between Liam and EOD that it can be done. Maybe some Cyclops strats. Can EOD do it again? Oh, sorry. Uh, can Rock do what EOD did in that one? Everybody gets their own mini bases and things are relatively stable. Also, quick shout out to our website subscribers, which is like our patrons essentially. You guys are keeping the project going and we really appreciate it. So, make sure to collect your perks. And if you want to become a website subscriber, check out our link in the Twitch About section or the YouTube description box. I am back. Very good. Welcome. Ooh, juicy matchup. Rockshan getting the back mini base. That's a little risky against the forge, wouldn't you say? A gen on the back, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Because like... it's scouted out immediately too. <laughs> it's so easy to pick that off with a forge hog and a handful of warthogs later. I wonder why Kinsano. I'm trying. I'm sitting here trying to think of. What did Rock expect EOD to do? Cut her? Because you don't pick Kinsano unless you're just... Maybe in like a best of seven or more, sure. But it's only a best of five. There's not that many leaders banned. I think fact, the only ship's one an option. where she's clearly great is definitely against Cutter. Um, because it makes infantry play so difficult. But it's not like Cutter can't play Warthogs either. Yeah. Quick Flared. expo. You can pick quick expo, yeah. But maybe Rock is having a special timing in mind. Uh, it looks like he's pumping a lot of marines right now, so this could be just a timing push for uh, combat tech marines with red line. So far no red line though, so I, I think that's not what he picked in the end. Didn't see hell drop either. And he's holding the point, that's, what, that's what's happening. Third power node coming up, for Chog, low find the marines. If you don't have grenades, as Rox focused on upgrading his bases, maybe this won't Does be kill the marine before game. it takes the middle node, that's pretty important. Oh yeah. Faster to decapture and capture this way. And then it's gonna be EOD on three power nodes. Maybe more. EOD also has Marine Grenade, too. Oh. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. You think he's just playing to Warthogs? Is that already You would think, his... but if you expect a counter for Kinsano to be just a bunch of Marines, in theory, you can just do the same thing in return and have a Forgehog to support with mm -hmm. the uh, aura around him. With the heavy metal, you can probably just win the same type of fight. Ooh. Nice anvil round again. But yeah, here's the deal. Rock Generation, Tier 2. He's getting his Kinsano. He's going double garage. I mean... That's probably the worst possible thing that he could be doing, right? I... It's because of EOD went triple gen. Yeah. 
So triple gen with five nodes. The greed might and make it work on. out. Mm hmm But if EOD can recover himself and upgrade this base and get turrets and get warthogs, then he's got everything he needs to deal with this. But in honestly, unless Rock does something here that's very impactful, with five nodes and three uh, power, three extractors, you're just going to surge right into Tech 3 mm -hmm. as Forge without much delay at all. I agree. And Kaboom. then you have to deal with that Forge hog. This map control is completely bonkers. Five power nodes, my god. And a third base coming up. And Rock is being bullied back into the bases. Kinsano can't even be out there and do stuff. Rock's going Kodiax? What? Is this for style? Yeah, these aren't flame Kodiaks. I mean, I like as much. I, I like the underdogs, usually. And I, I'd love to see a Kinsano win, but. I'm not sure I can see it in this one. I hope they prove me wrong, yeah. man. He tried to drop Kodiaks on the high ground, but... Oh, wow. That was a bad scatter. That was a terrible Oh, scatter. yeah, very. It's a good catch on the Kodiaks, though. Drop turret killing one. Vortox might get the other. And even Rock is shelling this with his own Kodiak. Uh, Sano staying alive. Just about. Combat Tech Marines in the garrison is hurting him pretty bad though. Oh yeah. Trying for the ram to take out the Fortrog, but it seems to be getting away just barely. Closing the distance now. Can he make it? They have that red line still. Now or never. Oh, it's so close. I'm so scared. Please hold Oh my me. god, he got away. No. You are joking me. And this is going to get healed right back up because there's a combat tech marine. Wow. Mm -hmm. Nasty business. And he's very close to move, pushing tech 3. Yeah, that's exactly what you said. <laughs> it's just a rapid jump to, to tier 3. A handful of hornets will hold back the... The Vortogs, no problem. A handful of actual Vortogs get made as well by EOD. So that's good for um, countering the Cyclops hero. As you do the Flame Wall, if you get rammed, you get staggered and it's cancelled. Looks like EOD has all, all the All this time, again, EOD has full no control. He got one taken away, but it's still four, and he's got a third base that's upgraded. Oh, it's fully slotted out as well. Crazy. Getting turrets on it. Man's gonna be maxed out in a minute or two. He knows Rock doesn't have the other base too, because he has a unit on the high ground. Oh, yeah. Jackrabbit is watching that uh, nice. expo in front of Rock's base. That's a really good vision that he gets from the high ground bonus, by the way. Mm -hmm. he, oh, I love it. EOD went fortify level 1 early to try to counter in case of... Um, uh, Inferno hits the base. As long as you have Fort 1 plus a heal, you mostly save your pads. As long as there's not like another unit or you get hit by a full flame wall. Hey, we got Wingman on the Hornets coming up as well. Should be done. He in caught a this, caught out this, uh, Insano hero. Oh, that's brutal. Even silenced with mm -hmm. the smoke. She can't do anything. He's got double armory, this madman. Goss overcharged 24 seconds out. <laughs> 45 base 2 coming in. He's not letting... The one way he loses is just to uh, Inferno. I like how that's a big oh, yeah. way he can lose. Well, Kinsano's pretty good at stripping bases, that's true. Whether through drops, whether through Inferno, or even Napalm missiles, all of them can contribute to get it done. But if EOD is this well prepared, I just don't see it. Oh, big scatter. Where's the anvil? The surprise he did an anvil, yeah. Because he's on cooldown. Oh. 
Yeah, I should have checked that probably, but anyway, still in a good enough oh, position. Heavy metal. heavy metal will do it, yeah. Heavy metal around the turrets as well. Hello there. There's a random Kodiak rolling up. That shouldn't have happened. Anyway, he beats this back convincingly. And no one's gonna kill that four truck, I don't think. Oh, okay, maybe big that. drop though. Okay. <laughs> Caster curse. Love it. <laughs> maybe this? There are two turrets, one upgrading. Look how this fast will do it. EOD did are. take down another the other base, the third base. While this is going on. Forge workout is 30 seconds out. Is this base fortified too? So it's gonna take a little while to kill. Oh yeah. There is a Kinsano. And she's getting that flame wall off. The hog better ram her. Never mind, it can't. It's dead already. Was that a Goss Hog? Uh, I couldn't tell. Died too fast. What about the other side? They are Goss Hogs confirmed. I love it, but EOD. Man, you're losing base. Hornets, though. What's that? His wingman hornets. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's cute. But he will say EOD did take down that expo, like I mentioned. He also took down another mini. He's tame aiming for the mini in the back. That has the gen that we talked about before. Rock's still sitting on only two gens, so that gen kill is pretty important. Finally finding that is very nice. Or triple turrets on the space. Big drop turret here. These turrets are about to be upgraded too. This is not going to be a fight that Rock is going to want to take around the space. And Rock does lose that gen. Power is out sitting at 150 with only one gen on the map. Damn, he's losing That's his important because, like uh. Yeah, the, the Inferno does still cost quite a bit of money. Yep. Uh, 600, I believe, which is not insignificant when you're struggling on power that much. Good news for Rock, he's got four power nodes. So long term, he can make up for that. Still wants the gen, of course. Okay, daddy hog and baby these... hogs, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Wolverine kills are very important. Hey, there's the Inferno on the main. Rock managed to sneak by the hero and this base is getting burned to cinders. But with the fortify upgrades, it's gonna last quite a bit. Yeah, he doesn't have heal, it looks like, but he should be able to kill this, uh... Kinsano. Mm, there is a Nightingale, but the Flame Hog drop actually finishing off several of these buildings, probably. Oh, there's the Forge Hog. Oh my god. It does so much damage. Goodbye, what was that, that accomplished? Two pad kills, it looks like? Yeah, and forcing the units You back, just wasted. What is it? 850 for Flame Drop and then another 600 for um, Inferno? Yeah, 1,200 for Inferno, if you count both resources. And then obviously lost your Kinsana Hero, too. <laughs> it's a lot of cash. I didn't get a lot done, especially if you... Yeah, that was everything. not cost-efficient. I mean, it looked good, but it wasn't cost-efficient in the end, because Rock is now sitting under 200 blue with 72 pop. EOD has 500 blue with 80 pop, so it's relatively close, but EOD's grabbing a fourth base. And EOD, or Rock is trying to move around with his bases to the, the expo of EOD, but he's walking into anti-vehicle turrets. Losing some. And then now he's gonna get pinched. Oh man, that's a lot of Goss Hogs. They are a lot better than the Flame Hogs. Mm -hmm. Easy pickings for them. Even with the upgrade for those Flame Hogs, it doesn't matter. Yeah, they're just not built for this. Trying to get some, uh... 
something dumb with his other units on the new expo of EOD, but Warthog just making this so hard. Now the tank being back is actually helpful, but it's so heavily outranged. Eventually these goshawks will destroy it. Yeah, if goshawks were any better, <laughs> they'd be the meta. <laughs> yeah, right. Six years into Halo Wars 2, we're seeing them more often than ever before, though. Yep, you did get that base expo upgraded as well. Yeah, the man's going all in on this now. He knows Firestorm he Battle Group is back for Rock, but he doesn't have the power for it at the moment. Oh, no. Anti-vehicle turret gets upgraded, but as it has half health, it's already going to get taken down. That's 300 more power just down the drain there for Rock. There's the battle group. Probably heavy metal to counter, I'd imagine. Let's see yet. Oh, it's scatter bomb. Big scatter. Then. Which kind of works out here. The tank gets mm -hmm. rammed to death, which is kind of acceptable. There's a with vulture. The it's oh. gonna kill them. Forchog. Forchog doesn't have enough health. Forchog is gonna go down. Yeah, for sure. Split it from your army! Ooh, no. even the hogs take damage there. Yeah. It actually only lost turrets. No pads were killed in this. But we gotta remember, EOD already does have um, combat tech marines, so if he needs a switch to take care of the vultures, it's an easy switch. So, if this Kinsano gets back in there and uh, Rockgen has maybe Napalm missiles, he would be able to get a lot of these buildings down. There it is. Like, at the main? <laughs> yeah, he needs to heal this base quicker. EOD does work. Tell you what, this heal is kind of getting it done. It's good enough. Okay, he lost a bunch of buildings, but it's acceptable. Given hit. His oh, he lead. walked right into the Forge Hawk? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, that thing's dead. That's a big kill, because that means he's bought himself some time for a little while, too. The Hornets Obviously, are... he's got some build-up time. Yeah, the Hornets are actually a really good counter, you know? They can keep pace with the hero and run her down eventually. Mm -hmm. Big thing is now that EOD has that base fortified um, in front of Rock's main with some units nearby. He's already on double turret with double watchtower. Needs to get them upgraded, but... Oh, that was a... <laughs> as soon as he saw that base upgraded, mm -hmm. Rob was like, nope. Yeah, maybe if he had enough watchers to insta-nuke it, but not like this. Not like this. This one's not as bad, though. Hello there. We've got Vault. Rock Generation is Forge. We see a lot of this leader today, but he's in trouble. Yeah, because on the other side we have EOD on a giant map going yap yap. We already put the mine down. I didn't see it go down, but he already has Vet 3 cannon fodder on the field, so he oh. somehow got a... He picked off something. Was there a jackrabbit? Oh, I think there was. He, I missed it, but he... There's only two units on the map for Rock, which means something had to have get caught. Yeah, that's... No, if he... Awful. If he loses this Marine under the garrison, it is just doomsday. And it oh, looks like man. he will. Oh, man. The chopper can definitely yeah. finish that off. That's, that's nothing left on the health. God, that is such a rough start for Rock. He has one unit on the map right now for some scouting. What do you even do from here? He's trying to go into a fast Forge Hog, which makes sense because what can build value best? Obviously the hero, but uh, you're up against Yap Yap. So there's a lot of economy going around for Yap Yap. All these free units going everywhere across the map to pick up resources. He found the last 
unit on the map too. Yeah, Chopper's chasing, the Sentinel's attacking even. Oh man, he's gonna lose the Marine. No way. Wow. There's one Marine coming behind it, but just... This is insane. Definitely not the start walk Rock wanted in a matchup that's already difficult as it is. Yeah, very bad news for him. And even the Forge Hog, like, okay, it can build value, but guess what? Yap Yap gets Heavy Grunts, and the Heavy Grunts get EMP upgrades, and they can stun the Forge Hog and just perma stun him and kill him. Especially if paired with Methane, it just does disgusting damage. And then you follow it up with these Brute Boys, start to smash bases up. Um, sometimes. Forge can defend, then you have enough infantry to. Oh no, oh no, oh no. The Marines just walked into a mine. And again. They walked into another mine. Two more Marines dead. That's a disaster. As this is just going incredibly bad for Rock. And because of this, EOD's just got both double minis. Two minis behind that. Rock fans be cringing. This is not what they signed up for. Yeah, EOD is over half, a, about half a leader point ahead of Brock because of this. Now, best thing that Rock can do is actually try to take nodes by force like this. And pick off yeah, as he'll many save his node, as possible. Or as many there. There's already a counter attack to the. <laughs> it's cannon just cannon fodder, fodder, but it's actually, it's tr it's the vet three cannon fodder, so it's actually some significant damage. Yeah, give him a minute. Already and a bar of help. <laughs> You'll definitely yeah. see the. Change. I mean, it's not gonna do much, but again, like uh -huh. you don't want a red bar gen. There's a lot more of them coming too. <laughs> he means business. There's a small counter attack with Jackrabbits. There's no turret on EOD's base, which is actually. Uh, an opportunity, an opening for Rock that he can take right this second. Double Extractor is available for some pain. Yeah, that is huge. There's so much on the main for Rock, but same can be said about EOD. No shade there is helping. Okay, that will put some damage on that gem for sure. It's gone, essentially. And the other one is also taking it. But EOD with the Expo has some more chance to recover. Hey, <laughs> the pop of Cannon Father. That's how we roll. Yeah, this is the problem with not having a turret on the base. I mean, he was building one, but it didn't quite get there in time. That's... He killed that turret immediately, and it's just... not good. It's hard to your defense. It's so hard to get going from there if you don't have units nearby. Generators in shambles, and Rock is trying to get back another. Uh, the existing one also taking quite a bit of damage. It upgraded... Even upgraded choppers. Really? Huh. Yeah. That's EOD did take down the mini of Rock over here, so Rock's only sitting on one mini now. Did lose his gen earlier. Alright, there's the anti-infantry turret. So Rock will clean up, having lost only one gen. It's kinda acceptable. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, Mine's no! Oh. oh my god, I saw that coming. That scared the shit. <laughs> what and a disaster. There goes anything that Rock had oh. when it comes to hope. Turret does finally finish. Chopper coming in for the Rams. Well, at least we got the tail end of that. Yeah. Yeah, this might be a... Oh, Rock has a Kodiak drop. It's the only play left. It either mm -hmm. does something or... Or he's dead. Yeah, you don't just it's gonna be hard to get anything done yet. though. That turret does finish, but another one's gonna finish behind it. That's out of range of the Kodiaks. 
But there's also an engineer here. To drop on top? Did not expect that. Yeah, but oh with the engineer. no way! How can he get so lucky? This spirit is gonna move away out of the map, actually. Okay. Wait. On that ledge Ooh. that nobody uses. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Seriously, nobody uses that ledge. It's annoying me. I know, right? Surprised he's not trying to kill that uh, engineer. There's another one. Forge Hog does go down. Now the debuff is here. Oh man, it's gonna be a stun from he this. Still needs a little bit more units. Yeah. The... It's gonna take a while to kill this, but. Surprise party is here. That's a level two oh. surprise party. Rock, are you looking? Oh no! What could you do? There's really nothing he could do unless he had heavy metal, but he already used it. The mines are just destroying Rock today. Savagery. And yeah, now are. you have time to finally get back out on the map after he already has every mini but one. And he's the only one on the map with a node as well. Ah, uh, only thing still going for Rock, you know, is that EOD is firmly in tier 1. Doesn't mean that he can't counterattack, though, and take some stuff out. But he has he had an upgraded extractor. Uh, or upgraded expo with another extractor. Both players sitting on a lot of eco, though. Rock finally in tech two. He's going double armory. Go to upgrade the Forge Hog and make it. I guess so. I don't know if it's going to make that big a difference though at that point, because by the time that other you're only saving yourself maybe ten seconds, fifteen seconds. Uh, maybe it's a little bit more than that. Pad doesn't take as long. Brock trying to get an expo on EOD side, but EOD uh, already has vision on it. EOD is also trying to get some uh, nodes. Getting a few of them. One in the middle, one on Rock's side. Oh man, he just cancels his base. Yeah, the shade turrets. I only saw two. I don't know where the other two went. Uh, I don't see them either. He just dropped it on the other untaken expo to prevent <laughs> Rock from sneaking it. Wow. That's funny. Can't say I've ever seen that before. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Yeah, there's defensive aura for whatever good that will do. Um, runs from above his back as an option for EOD. Doesn't have the money for it yet. But <laughs> the shade turrets are still there. <laughs> Rock built it and then had to sack it again, losing some money. Uh, I think losing some time too. I think Rock knows what his last play is. It's gonna be Grizzlies. It's no other choice really. Nah, Condor for the win. Or Condor. <laughs> there nah, they I come. That In the middle? It's gonna take a long time to cross the map with this. Yeah, it does kill the double mini for sure. I think Rock, I think Rock just wanted units on the map. He didn't want to go for a cheeky little play and get his units caught out. Just put some units on the map, create some pressure, put that leader power on cooldown as well. And then try to get his claws way back into this slowly. Yeah, no doubt he'll call in some Cody Axe, but EOD is sort of prepared with the Shroud already. So Wolverines mm -hmm. will be needed to back this up. Which are being made. There's only one here, now two. You can get more of them out and upgraded. Another one. Shardstorm launcher's coming in. 
That's when things get dit ugly for uh, Rock. I smoke to separate them. Don't want to walk, continue following him and walk into that. Here's some locusts are coming in. Oh, that might be a little early for locusts. Uh, those tanks kind of ripped them a new one. Gotta be careful. True, with that. but you you can now stay at a further distance apart from the uh, the the army. That's true. Grizzlies are slow, so you can kite them out pretty easily. Yeah, I guess you have the methane wagons anyway, so they get buffed as well. Mm hmm Helps a little. Definitely a better choice than Banshees with all these Wolverines around. Yes. The thing is now, EO Rock does not want to engage EOD in a head-to-head -head fight, but he can easily oh, yeah. avoid it because he's got... Despite how gr slow Grizzlies are, the Yap Yap army is just as slow. Exactly, those locusts are painfully slow. <laughs> so cleaning up minis and for a moment. Maybe that bottom one? might just go for a simple trade. Uh, I don't that looks see defensive. a problem in this. He's holding two... Yeah. Rock's gonna come back to defend for sure. He will lose. He would lose a trade. That's why he had to come back. He does have a uh, EOD floating two liter power, so he can drop in Grunto if he wants. He can do the uh, twelve o'clock liter power methane party thing if he wants. But even one locust is so much base damage when it's buffed like this. Yeah, very important to focus the Forge Hog on it actually. Mines have nice landed, dome. but they pre-detonate, which is good news for Rock. He's got heavy metal and scatter bomb. This is starting to look like a really good fight for him. A BOD can eat, simply back up to the ledge and use his advantage on the high ground. You should kill the watchtower, you lose vision up there. I'd like to see a beam here out of VOD. I'm not sure if he used both leader powers already. It was that no is beam a, yet. A, yeah, there's a juicy choke point down there. The rock is sitting in. No heavy metal either. But has he got... Has he got beam? He's just got the power point. That's points. what I'm saying. I don't know. He just got, got a leader point. There's another locust now. So he's going to be able to use his high ground advantage more... Rock's gonna have to engage him. Well, the locust is definitely very killable here. Now he's got double shrouds taking up some of the shots. Oh wow! It was countered the uh, tanks as well, but the Wolverines will overwhelm this. Yep. When what happens when they come up to your high ground? Just get even higher. <laughs> he's got the last. He just goes high in a circle, now. goes to the other side, and goes. <laughs> Continues on. EOD's got full control on the uh, behind the middle. The only thing is a double mini. If you'd like to turn around and kill that real quick, which it looks like it's exactly what he's doing, putting a locust and hole command. Then he can just focus here. And in a head-on head fight, head to head, I think he wins every time. Just because the heroes, there's the beam. We do know no heavy metal now, so he's gonna eat this. Oh, so many units getting hurt, and even through the heal and the four truck aura, it's definitely a lot of pain. Nope. Rock won't have money to call in another grizzly drop. He's definitely losing the one in the back. Nightingale goes down. Four truck actually threatened to go down. Oh, there it is. Guard sword launcher went off. Looks like EOD is more than happy with the trade that he's currently got going on. Rock has Grizzlies back, but he can't call them in. Too expensive. He has a lot of money. He can also do drops whenever he... There it is. Yeah, that's a two, level 2 drop as well. Remember, EOD does have the other expo, so this is Rock's only base, besides his main. 
Oh, these goblins keeping the army alive. The brute smashing the base I mean down. There's nothing left for Rock to defend it with. And then he'll be on one base versus four. I mean, even if he had a Grizzly Drop, it doesn't matter. Like, he would just get slaughtered here. If he wants, EOD can please don't shoot me during the, the drop-in. Avoid the big da splash damage from the Pelicans dropping in and then just kill the Grizzlies right after. Yeah, Very easy counterplay. Still doesn't have EMP. That would be actually nice as an addition. But also not he's, necessary. He's sending in one of his... Uh, Oh, yeah, there, there we go. go. Let's see. Oh. That's another way to counter it, just grunt on it. Yeah, that works. Still Although have to it's... take the grunt, waste the grunt on ah. though, but still. <laughs> it's gone immediately. It's a lot of damage. Yep. But there's a lot of hunters here. It just, doesn't, just doesn't matter. So 2 0 for EOD. Just one more, and Rock Gen is going to have to go through the loser's bracket. All right, game three is on. This might decide it all. Rock Gen is currently down 2-0, so give it up for him if you want to support him. He's playing Atriox. Yeah, and a deadly uh, matchup here into Arbiter, one of the best leaders in the game. Um, for EOD in the red. EOD's already looks like he's going to be picking off. He went double ghost opener to pick off this early chopper. And maybe even a ghost, a grunt. It's not a good start for uh, Rock. So he loses another chopper. That's just murder's row. And Chopper's doing pretty well, actually. Let's okay. run right in the mud. Uh, nope. It would be a trend. Rock. <laughs> Rock saw them. Must have saw them somehow. Uh, uh. He's gonna get a mini steal. Oh, oh wow! What? How did he do that? I don't that? know how he didn't get that, but he's gonna get the one behind, which is even worse. You never want to let Atriox get a mini base behind you. Yeah, it's so difficult to just, just jump. Get up there. Brunk, yeah, jump back roots. Just jump down from the ledge on your base. He also gets the scout off to see. Actually, didn't quite see the double mini uh, gen yet. Is Rock going to get a scout off on the base? It'd be pretty important to see how aggressive he can go. But on the counter offensive, EOD is going to try to take some nodes down himself or minis himself. Minis super late in this game because both players went early double scout. Yeah, they really wanted to win the middle engagements, which usually let you gather a lot of resources. And Waste Rock's gonna have to micro this chopper quite a bit now to win against the Grunt. And even then, it's not guaranteed. The Grunt can micro as well. More choppers coming in though. And so is the Atriox is chosen. I don't think Rock has any plans of making further mini bases. He's just making choppers from home. And chopper and brute is pretty tough for oh, Arbiter to stop actually. But Arbiter Hero is only 30 seconds out. It's already been queued. Oh nice. I'd love to see a turret here for uh, EOD though, just to some consistent damage. You can see the uh, barracks is there. Plasma rounds to the hero is coming up too. This is an all in push for Rock. Places down his mines, but it's in a line. Nothing guarantees the hero will walk over that. Unless, of course, the Chosen sits on it. That could work. Oh, Grunt is gonna detonate it. One of them. Start, it might be too late. I mean, the Arbiter hero is, is locked in. He's not even gonna lock it. I mean, I get... I understand why. One turret does come up. But that's not enough. The Brutes are already ravaging the Extractor in the back. Looks like Rock might just have this in the bag. Huh. 
<laughs> What's the chopper doing? Alright, peace. <laughs> right. Oh, RB did walk over the mines. And Trox is more than happy to sit in it. He gets the heal, and he should be able to actually run this hero down, and that is massive. Mm, huge help for sure, but, but EOD having lost two generators and the pad, and still not having cleaned up the mini. Man, he's actually gonna lose one more mini base. Good kill but he has on the hero, though. Camel now. He will lose this eventually, or these groups will die eventually. They'd actually jump up the ledge. Yeah, just for time. And he has the minis on the... A couple minis on Rock's side, too. He's able to take those. Actually, he could get three. Can he do it? Rock has the cash, but EOD is going to buy it first. Rock's That's more interested in the rush. Because he has no way of killing this Arbiter. No, absolutely not. And, and eventually, these Brutes will die. Maybe if all the Brutes fight the hero, that could work, along with the choppers. Uh, but not individually. Needs a, EOD needs to sack that armory, get a little money back. Doesn't do it. Got a bit of a node strat situation, but it's with Cloak. Uh, follow up, so... Those grunts will definitely kill the Sentinels, I think. Leaving some behind for it. So it's not really a situation at all. Harvester will probably go down. Where's the choppers? They could really use the support, man. Yeah, EOD is getting uh, his auto canceling, and he's got another turret coming up. This looks to me like a hold. The chosen is back up, but he's actually going to be forced to clear off the minis behind him. Yeah, which is a process. EOD, having enjoyed the mini bases for so much longer than Rock, not even sure he's that far behind. In terms and of EOD's power, and EOD's actually not. got an engineer out, and these the buildings are no longer just going to be susceptible to these brutes easily. Yeah, upgrading that last weak harvester, and then that's getting healed. Should be good to go. Oh my God! Look at the mines, just sitting on the <laughs> ramp to the right of EOD's base. Yeah, that's gonna take the engineer spotting. <laughs> Turret's taking it care of some... It will take EOD a while to get into tech too, but... Um... He does have two nodes now. Oh, we he got actually dropped his enforcers on the main! Great beam. Chosen should clean this up. Me thinks. A stasis oh, on the extractor. Away. Genius. Yeah, teleport gives some further healing, speed boost, so they should be able to escape. Never mind, the brutes with their minds, so oh my. Actually, gonna kill one. <laughs> Not bad. Wow. RB somehow dodged the mines. It's a run over. Of rock. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Is that oh. your. <laughs> the engineers with the shield are coming in. Whoop! Wiggle, 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 wiggle. He's and now it. he will live because the chopper. He's even doing a victory dance. That is wild. That is huge too because he can't afford to rebuild that. He doesn't have any minis on his side of the map. Can't exactly. This was really... such an important save there. Now he's got enforcers helping out and he will be able to now take back mini bases. Super well done by EOD. Awesome play. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it takes a little bit of luck. Oh, dying breath brutes on the main, though. I don't see where the engineer's at. Nearby, they got the bubble. There they are. That's covering the extractor now. And this should be yet another hold. Rock just spent a lot of yep. cash on this. Yeah, he procked that last mine too, whether he had still had a full shield.
Okay. Rock is getting totally cleaned up on this side, man. Our RB player is looking pretty capable of holding himself. Gonna upgrade to tier 2. Getting that armory ready already on the expo. And that should mean that we have an upgraded Arbiter coming up soon. You can then definitely solo that Chosen, even though it has a star. Another Enforcer squad getting dropped. Oh no, Rock's getting punished. The back extractor is also weak. EOD can already taste the blood. Blood, there shall be. Stasis is the that hero and gets the last out. Gen. Again! Same as last time. Prevents the expansion! And he jumped right on the expo. <laughs> EOD just running circles around uh, Rock this game. This series, actually. This guy is just on mm -hmm. another level. EOD has, I think, improved so much over the last year. He would not have been able to do this two years ago, that's for sure. Well, I'm sorry, Rock, but the future is now, old man. <laughs> EOD just... through the roof. Maybe there's a chance to bring this back, but it's looking very tough. Good animation cancelling as well on that Arbiter. He's got his Rage available to use once he loses the shield. There it is. Okay, that will buy some time for the Extractor, the Hero as well. Okay, I think Arbiter might actually go down to all the snows. They also stack by Yeah, he doesn't have a uh, teleport anymore. Yeah. He used it when those uh, enforced earlier. That's fine. He just did Big as much loss. damage as he could. Yeah. Makes sense. And here comes the Phantoms. Of course, the Arbiter getting remade very quickly. Wait, wait, wait. EOD bought a PC, says Liam. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be it. No longer playing on the Xbox. So the Phantoms are gonna be loaded with grunts for now. Um, I bet there's a handful of elites in there. Enforcers, that is. We're about to find out. Yeah, there, there they are. In the back ones. They're doing some pretty respectable damage to the Marauders, even. It's kind of crazy. And another yes. drop. Right on top of the mines? Maybe not, but the beam will hit him. Countering with the teleport again and again. He doesn't quite get there. This is savagery. He even unloads all the units from the Phantoms knowing that there's enough anti-air here. Let the Reavers do their work, it's fine. As long as he takes out another generator, he's a rock doesn't have any. Stasis. That was probably not necessary. Yeah. Still gets Just the enough conduit rage to get there. Maybe it Again, was necessary. more gen kills. Oh, he killed the other base at the same time. <laughs> oh my and god! And then there's what? <laughs> He's probably gonna go right back to the, the other expo that uh, Brock has. Check it out. Oh, he doesn't actually know, no. But he's sensing a disturbance in the forest. Maybe he'll check it out. <laughs> oh, he doesn't check it. <laughs> Rock decides he has no choice but to go forward to try to protect. The best defense is a good offense. It was a good attack. I mean, he already took down the enforcers. Good start. For sure. 
It's not like EOD has a lot gear. It's an expensive reaver to lose, though. Every unit counts for Rock. He has to make something happen. He's only on 35 population. His bases are getting wrecked left and right. Please, it's a good Marauder counterattack on the minis, but that's pretty manageable with just the one Phantom. And the RB is going across the map again. Finding an Expo. Oh man. EOD has teleport back, which means... Which means the Enforcer drop is almost back. And he's taking off another Expo that EOD's building, or Rock's building. With his hero. At this point, he's going to have to make an assumption that Rock's got that only expo remaining. It's definitely oh. expensive to keep rebuilding these. Rock can't do that forever. Currently having to rely on Marauders, but finally has a shield. That could actually put an end to this nonsense. Uh, maybe he gets up another shield as well. Ajox is one such cheaper after all, but there's a drop. This time he's more prepared though. Uh, the Reavers are gonna pre-place themselves in the way of the, of the Phantoms. Is this even gonna work? Oh my god, where's the beam? No beam. Yikes. Phantoms go down for now. There's engineers coming to help. Chosen to star, but RB is just so strong. He can take this. He teleports aggressively onto the Chosen to get him to lower health. Stasis is him. Which makes sure that the RB can... <laughs> a nice teleport out of that. But Rock still loses the base. Dude, RB... Played at this level, I, I don't know what you do. This would be the worst nightmare to face. Yep, he's finally gonna get vision on that expo. No? No? <gasps> no? You can even it's... see the smoke. It's he's that close. Oh, he's... he can see it now if he looks in the fog of war. He can see that uh, turret pad. Ah, it's just not. Which close is actually enough. a big deal. It just shows that he. Uh... He's got that base already upgraded, so he's like, ah, I need to take care of that. Oh, I think he just sent units there. Yep. Yep, there we go. No shield on this base yet. Forces here. Oh, this has to be so annoying. The RB has shed the rock from this. He's going after the RB. He will rage out of here. All the while, Ooh. his expo is... Oh, he tried to kill the turret, the shield. The shield does go up on that expo. That's kind of a big deal. It kind of is. <laughs> oh, the mines are kind of hurting this RB. Can he get away, though? And it's slowed. Looks like he's got it. The beam deleting EOD's the army. The timing of the beam, too, while the RB, he was focusing on the RB. Arbiter. Yeah, that was good. EOD popping more and more phantoms. He's actually got a ton of them now. But he's soon going to be able to go tier 3, at which point he can load even more units into those. Unlock things like... Beam Cannon for the Hunters. The Teleport is aggressive to... Go across and try to snipe Rock's base, but... It's just only... Two elites. Actually, you can get it done because Rock's defending the other one. <laughs> Reverse. Still having the hunter, that's hilarious. Yeah. 
Now the base goes down. Phantoms are more than sufficient for this chase. Marauders getting pushed away again. Hunter will take care of the Reavers on the ground. Oh wow. Good plasma bolt. So many dead Reavers. Tier free. Rockgen tier free, by the way. Which means Braves, it means a two star chosen with rifled barrel. Granted, the tier three arbiter can probably beat him. Probably. Is getting taken down by EOD, so well done there. Phantom's going to harass too. Rather probably can't make it out of here. It's just an overwhelmingly big army. EOD working on Arbiter's reprisal soon. It's got 90 pop as is. And yeah, the more this game goes on like this with mini base kills left and right, harassment. Expos finishing, getting killed. It's just more and more leader points for Arbiter to stack. Dude, he's got a two star enforcer squad. <laughs> <laughs> now he's got another enforcer squad if he assault if he wants to drop it in. Hmm, does he cancel Arbiter's reprisal? Huh. Apparently so. That's kind of surprising. Yeah, that's... That's a really good upgrade. Okay, I don't think the Phantoms can take that Chosen, though. He's kind of beefed up now. Has Rifled Barrel. One thing can take that also, the Phantoms, it's him. Something to note is Phantoms are typically overpowered in most situations. This is one of the few where it kind of a isn't as effective as it normally would be. Um, you can't target what the phantoms are shooting at and obviously dying breath can make it. You kill one unit, that's great. They're gonna... The phantoms aren't gonna switch targeting like you normally would. So, it's not... Phantoms here isn't the best choice for in this head-to-head -head matchup. Yeah, I agree. If he runs around with them to take down buildings, that would work, but for the direct Absolutely. fight, not so much. And he can easily do that, winning this, because, I mean, he's already kept Rock off of may uh, bases for so long, minus the one next to him. And he just keeps on getting... Oh, there's... Look at that Gen die. A lot of Reavers here now. Might require a tech switch at some point. Yeah, good snipe on the RB. Might actually take him down there. Mine. Oh, catches the chosen. You are joking me, Kaboom. <laughs> Welcome to Arbiter. This thing is refusing to die. Only once did it actually get uh, properly taken down. Unbelievable. Well. Least Rock has one shielded base as an expo. It's better than nothing. Yodi's working on infantry level 3, I believe. That's right. Uh, Rock getting vehicle upgrade 2. And actually destroying one of Yodi's expansions with Raves. Great.
fade away base kill. Yeah, that's how you can make phantoms work here, I think. Yeah, Definitely blister not backs. By over spamming them. The thing is, Rock can't really do much aggressive shit either because he just has reverse and his hero. Oh, yeah. Granted, his hero is strong, but gonna have to have more than that. These phantoms are dropping left to right, though. Reaver's doing a good job. But like you said, this is no pushing army. Meanwhile, EOD has a pushing army in the Arbiter itself. And that's it for the base. Rock has to cancel it. Just to deny the XP, you don't get the resources back there, like a StarCraft. Um, it's like... Percentage-based. 10% health equals 10% of the cost. It's gonna be careful with this Chosen. Chosen's just gonna eventually kill this base. I mean, obviously it take forever, but it already took the shield down by itself. It's already taken the turret down, too. Yeah. You know what, guys in the chat? About EOD's luck, if he keeps getting lucky, it's probably skill, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> but here's a problem, is now that the Chosen might have overstayed its welcome, does he have teleport to get this guy out of there? I'd imagine so, but how far can he get away? Not good save. Gets it right to the middle, that could have... If you see where he goes, you can teleport counter right on top of him. Kill him. He's yep, trying, this is what he's gonna... but... Oh. He missed, he went the wrong direction, but it's still fine. This okay. is going to be killing a lot of stuff. Oh, that's a really good... This is a good stasis. Result, actually. Yeah, he can yeah. clean up... Yep, he can clean up everything else around it. Oh my god, it's bad to just zooming around. <laughs> this is a problem. Most of the Reavers are already gone. I'm just going to walk away from this. But, for the first time, we have a moment where Rockjam might be able to establish a third base, if he can do that. Then I can see him making a comeback happen, which he actually really badly needs. Oh yeah. These blisterbacks are definitely good to have in this army. Mm -hmm. It's consistent damage on that ground army is huge. It's really hard for EOD to, or Rock to push. You gotta have plenty of base damage, crack that shield, and kill them. Cloaking gen on the main for EOD. Oh man. Yeah, what's the cloaking jumps gen's come up? a huge point on the leader power wheel, too. Cloaking gen's just jump it so much. Huh. It's a beam. Actually, that did quite a bit of damage to the Enforcer squads. Mm -hmm. And there's a... Oh, he... Big wow. Sasis. Yep, he hits the hero. Barely hits the hero, but does hit the hero. Good save on the reverse. Oh, wait! It jumps into the shield and dies. What? <laughs> I've not seen that before. But it is what it is. Well, it probably jumped. It probably was on dying breath before that. That's why. I ah, died. yes. I didn't see it, but I would imagine that's what happened. <laughs> I'll be trying really hard to catch those engines, but that's a difficult job. Oh, he teleported to the other expo thinking Rock had it, but he doesn't. Uh -huh. That didn't work out. At least he can buy it. Another Reaver goes down. And another one is actually super weak. And both players working their way to their 120 population armies. Yeah, Rock is missing one shield still, but that's gonna cost him. 
It's the third shield to make. Another huge stasis comes in. Catching the entire thing. <laughs> Atriox shows and walks into the wide. Everyone's chilling. Oh, this is a base trade. What's his name wants to take? I need help. I'm stuck in the bubble. <laughs> oh, Plasma Bowl 3. Just putting a dent in Rock's army. But didn't kill anything, it could just be healed up. Looks like it. There's nothing here to punish, so should be good. A reaver dies, I guess. It's acceptable, but the counterattack, that's not very acceptable. <laughs> Rock's losing that base. There's more yeah, to but come. He hasn't had that base for the most of the time, so... True. This is more important for EOD to not let this get killed. Yeah, those Banshees are actually making something happen. The shield gem will go down. Several buildings are dead. Yudi needs to react to this. Here they come, but that's only three phantoms. The main army will do the trick, though. Aha, uh -huh. chosen in the garrison. That's an important play. Very difficult to dislodge him. Oh, EOD is just gonna go for the the base kill, but get Suicide Grant dropped. Didn't do anything, by the way. <laughs> Fucking the conduit. Rock's coming home to the fence. He knows he needs it. Eradication is okay. on. Teleport! Big teleport there. Saves everything. Rock has some healing. Oh, oh. That looks he needs like a to get three. Reavers in his army. There's a lot of air. I don't know why EOD just has not built any Reavers whatsoever. Hmm. Yeah, even the way Grunts EOD did, did manage to secure a third base of his own on Rock's side, and he's getting minis behind Rock's base. It all comes down to can he defend his main? I don't think he can. Does he but I just to? don't understand. He's got this whole expo thing going on. Man. Yeah, I mean, he has no eco. I mean, he has. Look at his power uh, consumption. That's true. Which is why he's Long working on the it's... power nodes. That will yes. help a bit. Won't solve his problems. Maybe Grant's on the move, but he doesn't have even their upgrades. He has clothes. That's big when he needs Reavers now, big time, and he just doesn't have the power to do it. So losing these gins already is hurting him. Yeah, that's going to be the main itself. Though. It's gone. Job by Rock. Man, he's really putting his uh, his boots on you know, these pearls here. Big dying breath here on this army. Luckily, Blisterbacks don't care about Dying Breath. They'll hit everything. But, I mean, what are you going to do to kill these, uh... Banshees? There's a Reaver coming in, finally. Dying Breath. Doing work. In Unbreakable. Full army. Doing whatever they want. Big beam. Oh, 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 oh. Where are the banshees? Half of them disappeared. Reavers are gone. Suddenly, EOD can defend. My goodness. He needs to upgrade anti or air turrets on that base. A surprising amount of damage going in on the arbiter, though. And they're teleporting for a counter attack. Is this gonna work? Yeah, but they ran. He's gonna kill the base, but what? Do you need to defend your base too? The other one. 
Actually, that drop, that suicide grunt drop, actually brings in a brute. So that's two points into that grunt drop. <laughs> veteran suicide grunts. How do these guys gain veterancy? There's no lower explanation for this. <laughs> <laughs> Impossible. But losing one gen, losing the cloak, uh, the shield as well. Bad spot for EOD. Guns just can't get it done, they don't have the numbers, the Banshee spam has become a problem. EOD just had the cash, he could make Reavers, but easier said than done. His Expo is cloaked at least, if he only had cloaked that would also help, but there's Engineers that are helping. I'll be actually God taking for a EOD shot, managed to get all of those uh, nodes back, but... Don't want to lose your hero, gotta back that guy up. Oh, we finally him. lost it. This is Rock's chance. His free star chosen is back. And together with the Banshees, they might be able to clean up the space. Dude, he's pumping everything he can into this to save the base. Tell you what, Kaboom. The six mini bases to zero. It's giving EOD all the resources he needed. He's got his hero back. He's got the grunts out. Six got... mini bases plus five nodes. It's definitely keeping yeah. him in here. Exactly. Those grunts gonna get upgraded or what? It will be two extra squad members. That's like a 15 to 20 percent improvement. They're not quite full efficiency units, but. They're there. I don't know what EOD's planning to do here. I mean, yeah, you have Spirit Support drop, but... Or not Spirit Support, Unfortunate drop. But I don't think you have enough to even come close to killing this. Banshee's coming back in. Oh. Big stasis, though. Holy. If he does two of those, then maybe. At yeah, least he's not even aiming the main down. He's killing the gens. Yes. Yeah, that's a good spot, killing the gens. But the Chose is one-shotting Reavers. Wow, he just got another stasis. He also got a suicide grunt jump in the back on that bit, on that army. That's a that's a three star drop, three <laughs> leader point drop. <laughs> With that three, oh oh wow! Some Didn't kill him died. A lot of red bars there though. Yeah, they'll be healed up. Bulwark at level 3 is actually pretty crazy good. Easy to underrate it because at the low levels it doesn't heal that much, but at the high level it does. Now it's Rock that has 4 bases. Not fully uh, secured and upgraded and all that, but they're there. And now the Funny Banshee thing is, is I think if play. he was any other leader he would have sacked by now, but given that he's Arbiter. I don't want to sack this position. It's all about those phantoms, right? Because once Rock built a proper army to counter it, um, there was no way that EOD could bring it back. And he's still trying to make the phantoms. It's not going to work. Yeah, it definitely needs to be Wraith Reaver, I think. It's the only thing he can do. That actually could work. Although he was good for a while. Definitely. Okay, the Reavers under the shield are still a problem, though. Gonna go down quickly enough. And Arby is here to defend. Yeah, Banshees have to be patient about this and try to find spots where EOD is not. That Dark Skies Vet 3 Brute will not die. That thing is <laughs> barely taking damage from the Arbiter, considering. This thing's bonkers. Imagine if Rock can stack it. <laughs> right? More Dark Skies coming in. This might be... Oh, he gets the shield back. Wow. Wow. Very timely fashion, too. Here comes the uh, Banshees. Banshees will die quickly, though. Oh, their Enough numbers are getting thinned now. out. 
Stasis is Fine the breath. engineers that were trying to heal the base against the enforcers, but I think this base is healthy and upgraded enough that the enforcers actually can't get even one engineer repairing. That's crazy. Beavers trying their absolute best. Where is the Arby? Okay, it's done now, but Brutes no longer wants to play with them. And maybe, just maybe, he can take on that Chosen with Rage. Never mind. Rock Jen. Get a resign. Rock Jen made this crazy game happen in 40 minutes. <laughs> wow, if EOD gets any bigger than this, it would have been really scary with Power Surge and everything, but Rock Jen's super solid. Rock Generation, Shipmaster, blue color. EOD, Shipmaster, red color. We have another mirror. On Fishers. EOD buying the early X uh, double mini. Wonder if he's gonna try to go for both. If he gets both double minis, it's he's the only one with vision on it right now. Oh, he pulled it back. Oh my god, he had it. Both double minis for EOD. Great start. Rock went for it. Notice he's gone. He's gonna have to put. Oh my god, he's going all in. Look at this. War Council fourth. Barracks. Raid camp fifth. Can EOD get enough units out to protect himself quickly? It's gonna be Harvester oh, there. Oh, he switches the building. Yeah, that's expensive at the nearly two minute mark. Look, Rock already finished his base up. Um, mm -hmm. The mini bases are gonna be valuable long term, but if Rock can take that away with the hero, then it's like it didn't do anything anyway. Oh, Harvester. Twenty four pop for you uh, for Rock, nine for EOD, and EOD doesn't have a hero. Rock does. Or will. Yeah, he does now. It's gonna be a ghost spam. Now that could technically take care of the hero. Uh, but EOD is gonna hero himself. And then at that point, you're gonna need a spotter. Oh, what a great slam. A ram. You can kite out this uh, hero though. Yes. Of ghosts, you can definitely kite this bad boy out. And he chose to upgrade the ghost instead of making the hero in the end, so uh, that's a really good follow up. But you'll need many, yep. many ghosts. I'm not sure that War Council is a, an important building to keep right this second. Yeah, you will need a lot of ghosts, like you said, but he does have ghost shields now, it allows him to produce more off his main. More coming in from other everywhere of the map. He doesn't need very many to take down these brutes by his expo. Of course, if there's any there's small a, amount of expo. miss micro, that gets Mini. punished super hard. Yeah, he didn't. He should have sacked those uh, pads, but he didn't. He's too fo focused on this hero. He probably will extract it. He's gonna have to, most likely. Yep. Mm, yeah, good choice. But that's expensive. It's expensive. So far, he killed the ghost. Yeah, he's gonna go over. Needs to do a bit more than that to really be valuable. Neither player has enough supply for that. EOD gets hit first. That's oh, huge. Man. Yeah, now we can clean up these brutes easily enough. And with that, Rock Generation is in a bit of a pickle. Yep. He's still double pumping Ghost and Willing Hero now. Ay, ay, ay. At least his grunts are capturing some power nodes, but EOD is definitely in the lead. Yeah, I mean, if he had the leader point, he could just take him back with the ghost. 
There's a lot of ghosts now. Only play for rock is to go tier 2, get turrets. And come out with a better army. He's currently got two power nodes. He's working on the mini base on the left. Which is great. But EOD has a hero himself. Might just go for the main, honestly, at that point. He is. Goals to kill just the one turret is pretty easy. You'll pull back the one that's hurt and the rest will finish. Yeah, and he has his hero now coming to the base. Like he doesn't care if this uh <laughs> shipmaster over here is killing him double mini, he's attacking the main. Already took down the turret too, so there's no more defense. Ghosts don't do a ton of base damage, but they do enough in numbers. Yeah, and they do have numbers, so just gotta take down the attached buildings, I guess, and the full strip will be punishment enough for Rock. I mean, if he kills his upgraded Harvester, that means Rock's down to one Harvester. Mm, yep, Rock's trying to counter this by having an expansion, but that's also gonna be hard to afford. One Harvester left. Man, EOD. And he knew he sacked it. He knew if he kept that X that expo, he wouldn't have any money at all. But I think it doesn't matter. I think it's already too late. This last harvester he has is on red bar. Rock does not have a tool to answer this right now. That's the thing with this mirror matchup. You don't really have a a thing to counter mass ghosts. It has to be tech. You have to be safe for it. Rock's not safe. If they're already on your base like this and there's a hero too, then you've been outplayed. Oh, Just man. rams it to death before he gets his shield on. He has the upgrade tech too, but it'll just be run down. Yeah, tech 2 doesn't do anything if you don't have units that you can make. Rock Shen is pretty broke and has to tap out. EOD goes to the grand finals. After a 3-1 victory, Rockjan can still prove himself in the loser's final, so let's see how he does there. We want to thank our MetaPlace website subscribers. Your contribution helps us keep the project sustainable. As we reach higher subscription goals, you are helping us cover more and more behind-the-scenes costs, such as video editing. Check out our subscription page using the link in the description, and remember to collect your perks. We will see you the next time.